Super Rugby semi-final number two, folks, is the Blues hosting the Brumbies at Eden Park this Saturday. It's a 7.05 kickoff, I believe, over here in Auckland. The weather's supposed to be pretty miserable, so we'll see if that has much bearing on the game. But we're going to go through some predictions, the squads, the stats. You guys can let me know your thoughts on who you reckon is going to get this one done um they have played once this season over in canberra and it was a bit of a classic it went down to a late droppy from the blues to, to steal a win after it looked like the brumbies had done enough 21 points to 19 it was kind of towards the tail end of the season so it's relatively fresh in both these sides minds i would imagine and um last week both sides kind of looked under a little bit of threat the blues early Especially with some troubles at the breakdown against, and the scrum, uh, against the Highlanders. And uh, it was certainly the breakdown where the Brumbies gave the Blues a lot of trouble last time these two teams played. The Brumbies had to come back from 10 points behind to beat the Cane. So that kind of speaks well to the mental fortitude of this Brumby side. But obviously it's a new week and we will see uh, which team handles things better. The Blues are the top team in the comp. 13-1, and one. they're one game away from hosting a Super Rugby final for the first time in goodness knows how long, what, 2003? And uh, the Brumbies, 10-4, and four. certainly the best of the Aussie teams, went a little bit of a slump towards the end of the season, but maybe just uh, found form at the right time towards the absolute tail of the season. Uh, the Blues haven't made a heck of a lot of changes, but there certainly is a little bit of tinkering. Hodgman, Eklund, and Lalala's the front row, so Lalala's up from the bench after Tuonga Fussy had a little bit of a hard time up against De Groot, so he's down to the bench. Goodhue uh, comes in at lock uh, in place of Tucker. So it's him and Robinson in the second row, and then Ioane Choate and Satutu in the loose. Remember, Dalton Papa Lee is still injured. He's going to be, well, injured, I say injured. He's out with an appendix operation that he had to have uh, the other day. So um, he's still recovering, obviously not available. Christy and Barrett have been... Certainly the Blues' best 19 combo, one of the better 19 combos in the competition. Barrett has been on absolute fire. I think the best best we've seen of him, certainly in a Blues jersey, has been this year. He has just been running the show like a boss. Uh, two of us are Sheik and Rico Iwani are the midfield. And two of us are Sheik, speaking of guys kind of peaking at the right time, I think has really found his feet in union. He kind of stepped into things a wee bit slowly. Remember, he didn't have that Mitre 10 Cup prep last year with all the COVID stuff. So... It's taken him a little while. I know expectations were pretty high. I'm not saying he's the best 12 in New Zealand yet, but I reckon he's getting better week on week, and he had a pretty bloody good game last week. So he's there at 12. Rico's still got those wheels. Talia switches wings, so he is over to the right wing. AJ Lamb comes in on the left wing, and uh, Peter Feta is still there at fullback. He's got 117 points this competition, one of the top point scorers. So he has been... In the All Blacks conversation as well, but that's that's for another day. Uh, suffice to say, he's been pretty bloody good at fullback as Stephen Pirafetta. Um, Vikana, Tui Nukuafe, and Tuunga Fasi are the front row replacements. Romano, Taka, Nock, Tua comes in, and then Sullivan, because remember Bryce Heem uh, got hurt in last week's game as well. Uh, for the Brumbies, not a heck of a lot in the way of changes, but they are bolstered by the return of Rob Valtini, who's been out injured for a few weeks. Um, Slipper, Fainga'a, and Ala Alatoa are their front row. That's an all-wallaby front row, and they'll be looking to boss things at scrum time based on what they saw happen to the Blues last week, and also a mall time for sure. Uh, Darcy Swain and Caden Neville, same locks. Hooper, that's Tom Hooper, not Michael, because he doesn't play for the Brumbies. Uh, Pete Samu and Rob Valtini are their back row. So Rob Valtini, as I mentioned, being back is a bit of massive news because he's been in kind of blockbusting form. Pete Samu, though, was probably the star of their show last week. He didn't get man of the match. They ended up going to Tom Banks, but... I probably would have had my money on Pete Samu, man. He was ball in hand. He was an absolute live wire. So he moves to seven, and then, um, yeah, Valtini moves into eight. So a little bit of changing. Uh, Nick White and Lolasio are um, 19. Remember I mentioned Peter fitter has got 117 points. lolasio has got 114, and he missed a few weeks out injured as well. So, um, yeah, Lolasio's a pretty tiny player at 10, isn't he? He's still only a young man, but he's been really good. Uh, Ure Simone is at 12, and Oli Sapsford's up from the bench at 13, because Len Ikital, remember, he had a uh, red card last week for a high tackle. He ended up getting banned. Banned for like five weeks or four weeks or something. So, um, yeah, he's certainly out this week, and if the Brumbies upset the Blues, the Brumbies make the final, he's not playing in that either. So, unfortunate for him. Um, yeah, he's out with that red card, so Sapsford's got some big shoes to fill. Uh, Tom Wright's got nine tries. He's on the wing. 
alongside Andy Muirhead and then Tom Banks is at fullback. So, um, yeah, it's good for the Brumbies to have that individual star in Valtini back. Um, you obviously want to field your best teams possible, um, but as I mentioned, Ikitao is a big loss. For the Blues, looking at their stats, it's interesting because your top tackler in Dalton Papali'i is out, and your top like defender, beater, clean break, and try scorer in Caleb Clark is also out. So in terms of individuals, the Blues are missing a couple of key guns, but uh, they've been pretty good as a team this year, so we'll have to see if the other guys can uh, continue on. They don't seem to be a team built around individuals this year, but neither are the Brumbies. They're a proper team's team. Um, Brumbies and Blues stats-wise, the Brumbies have got the better line-out. They also have better ruck completion stats. They're pretty tough at the breakdown. As I mentioned, that was a key area between these sides last time. The Blues, though, offensively, which is where they get a lot of their credit, they're sharper with clean breaks, defenders beaten, offloads. They just love attacking play. That being said, the Blues have the highest tackling percentage of all the teams in Super Rugby. So they're their 13-1 is not just built on some fine attacking play. Their defense, at times, has been rock solid this season when they've been under the pump. But remember, the Brumbies limited them to 21 points in that game uh, when they played over in Canberra. Like, the Blues' attack wasn't looking free-flowing by any means. And the Brumbies, like, clean breaks conceded as the lowest of all the teams remaining. So they're a hard team to kind of cut to bits. Uh, the Brumbies maul it more. They mauled it like nine times last week against the Canes, which must have been almost a record for the season. But I mean, the Blues are the second team for maul. So maul against maul. Who do you want to pick from? I think if Romano comes on, he'll add some weight in that area. But um, yeah, the Blues mauled it five times last week against the Landers. Did get a bit of pay there. But anyway, uh, predictions-wise, the Blues are favorites. Maybe a bit heavy favorites for my liking. 12 points with the Bookies. And uh, 16 points with the rugby forecast algorithm. Remember, rain is forecast. Although rain was forecast today and it hasn't really come. So it's still pretty miserable looking. But anyway, uh, Ben O'Keefe is the ref. So hopefully we're not talking about him at the end of the game. But as I said, Blues and Brumbies. If the Blues win, they will uh, be hosting a final. If they lose, it'll be the Brumbies traveling to either Hamilton or or Christchurch for a final, so Chiefs or Crusaders fans after tomorrow's game will be becoming very big Brumbies fans in a short amount of time. But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. Do you reckon the Blues this season just going to be too good at home for the Brumbies? Or can you see the Brumbies doing what they did to the Hurricanes last week and disrupting them, outscoring them, and being able to get an away win at Eden Park, which, as I mentioned, has been pretty tough to come by this year. Anyway, you guys have any thoughts, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.